WildFit brought me to uh, BFSA. I was in the WildFit program, and then through that, on the, on the Facebook group, Eric invited us to be a part of his online audience while he was producing the Speaker Academy video program. So uh, I took that opportunity, and uh, it was just so much fun. Like, it was like really being there. And so that's what instigated me to, to come to this this year. I wanted to speak since I was a child. And uh, it started with 4-H Club. And uh, I was a junior speaker. And I won an honorable mention because I wasn't old enough uh, to actually win a prize. So that was pretty cool. I went to provincials. And, uh, and then I, I lost that. I think just being told to be quiet and that my voice was too loud and I was too boisterous and I stood out too much. And then getting older, even more so uh, not wanting to stand out and to actually want to be invisible, kind of pushed all of that down. And somehow through the last few years, there's just this big desire to break out and be myself. So, uh, this is all part of that. I think you just have to truly believe in your heart. I want this. Put it out there and allow it to come to you. Be open to saying yes to things that are uncomfortable because those things that are uncomfortable might be the answer to what you've actually asked for. You don't know it. Like for instance, the speeches that we did. Mine was Martin Luther King. Now ordinarily, in a situation where I've got other people doing the same thing that I'm doing, I won't go first, but I won't wait to go last. I'll wanna see a few examples of how it could be, and then I feel safe to try it. So with that speech, because I know that about myself, with that speech, I said, no, I'm gonna go first before I've seen an example of how others do it. And I'm gonna do it my way, the best that I can. So that for me was, a big step out of the box. So those are the kinds of things, really paying attention to what makes me uncomfortable and doing it anyway. Wanting Eric to co coach me personally, not being willing to put my hand up in the room to say that I wanted that. Put it out to the universe and he shows up in the room where I'm speaking last night and coached me. To me, that's a direct, direct correlation and uh, tells me I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Seeing results takes time, but knowing that I'm taking those steps, I believe that the results will, will follow big. So those are all challenges for me. So why are they all together in this day? You know, because it's time is how I feel about it. But I have to say yes, because the opportunity's there. And, and in the end, I felt really good about it. So that, that would be my advice. You have to just put it out there and not judge how it's going to come back to you. Say yes. <laughs> Get out of your head and make it happen. <laughs>